praise the name of Jesus. I'm here with a strong word of encouragement. That's bad. Father, in the name of Jesus, I give you the praise. I give you the honor. I welcome your presence as I bring forth your word. You are welcome, Lord God. Come and take your place. May I disappear and you appear. That your word will fall on the fertile ground. You are welcome in Jesus' name. Amen. I will give you the short word of encouragement. What is our true ministry as children of God? What is our true ministry as serving of God? If we accept the Lord Jesus Christ, when we come to Him, what is our ministry as children of God? This message is for everyone. If you are apostles, if you are a bishop, whatever for, for ministry you find yourself in, whatever way you are working in the church, whatever way you are working for God, this message is for every one of us. What is our true ministry in Christ? Second Corinthians chapter 6, I will read from verse 1. We did as workers together with him. Beseech you also, also that ye receive not the grace of God in vain. For he said, I have heard thee in a term accepted, and in the day of salvation have I succored thee. Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. Give no offense in anything that the ministry be not blamed. Today is the day of salvation. God is calling you today to come to Him. God is calling you today to repent. God is calling you today to forsake the things of this world, to forsake the pleasure of this world, and come to Him. As you are listening to me now, the day of salvation is now. Jesus Christ died on the cross of Calvary for you and I to be saved. So as you listen to the message now, today is the day of salvation. If you are atheist, you are a Muslim, you are an unbeliever, Whatever relations you are, except except Christ, except you being a Christian, I want you to come to Jesus Christ today. Forsake every other relations. Relations don't save. Relations destroy. But only Jesus Christ saved. He's calling you today. He's knocking at your heart. Forsake every other thing and come to Jesus Christ and surround to Him in holiness and righteousness. If you accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, I want to tell you your ministry in Christ. The things you should expect. Not begin to don't begin to, don't begin to read down. Verse 3. Verse 4. But in all things, I prove it ourselves as the ministers of God in suspicion in affliction, in necessities, in distress, in scribes, in imprisonment, in torment. In labors, in washing and fasting. Some people believe that when you come to God instead of wanting the sugar, you see, Pastor, today they are lavishing money on social media. They are riding the best airplane, riding the best car, right living in luxurious home. They feed that all to life. The Apostle Paul is telling us that as we accept the Lord Jesus Christ, these are the things we should expect. Worship. Praying, fasting, strengthening in the Lord, patient in tribulation, in trials and persecution. These are the things that the apostles, the disciples of all, these are the things they went through. They died daily to self. They went through these things that today we can, we can, we can get the word of God and come to him and begin to scroll for him daily. And not running after pleasure of this world. And not running after things of this world. 
today you go to the church and people are going for some so wonder I receive, receive your car receive your husband receive your visa that is not all about being a Christian we should be pure in the eyes of God we should be made blameless in the eyes of God brother and sister are we pure is our heart pure are we pure before the Lord are we sanctified before the Lord are we more great and sister for him day? Brother and sister, they will cry to the Lord in Psalm chapter 42. He said, As for her, pardon after the water bros. So pardon my soul after thee, O God. My soul ties for God, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before God? They will have a pardon for God. There is so what tested for God. Before today, I will test them for God. And I will hop pondering for God. I will walk with for God, brother and sister. It's not all about prosperity. I will crucify in our flesh day. I will peel before God. Brother and sister, the Lord is crying there. Because what the body of Christ is doing. It is time that we go to the ancient landmark. It is time we follow the ways of the apostle, the tradition of the apostle, the doctrine of the apostle. It is time that we pick on our cross there and follow Jesus. Let's continue. By words of truth, by the power of God, by the armor of righteousness on the right hand and on the left hand. It is time we put on the armor of righteousness. It is time we ask the Lord to fill us with the Holy Spirit. It is time we be filled with the Holy Spirit. It is time we pick up the cross. It is time we become hungry for righteousness. It is time we become hungry for holiness. Behold, the King is coming. Behold, the Lord is coming. Behold, the trumpet should sound. Behold, our King should appear in the sky and we shall change in our glorious body. Let us be pure before God. It is time that we cry to God. We are filled with the Holy Spirit to endure to the end in these terms. He said, by honor and this honor by evil report and good report are deceivers and yet truth. It is time that some people will honor us support this honor us. It is time people will call our names. But yet it's true. When it's still, let us begin to walk in the truth of God. Let us not look back the love work. Let us keep pressing forward because our redemption draw nearer. As knowing and yet knowing, as dying and behold, we live as just dying and yet kill not. And yet not kill. And it's time that we do the chastisement. No matter what comes our way. He just does his children. He just does his own. And it's time that we die daily. This is the true ministry of a true believer. Of a true child of God. And it's time that we die daily to serve. As sorrow, yet always rejoicing. As poor, yet making many rich rich. As having nothing, and yet possessing all things. You may not have physical riches today, but you know as children of God, our riches is in glory. Our kingdom is in glory. We are not of this war. We are strangers of this war. Let us build our treasure in heaven. What things will not break you, brother and sister? You may be poor to death physically. But once you are serving the Lord with your witness and righteousness, you are rich in glory. Your reward is with the Lord. Do not give away whatever you are going through. Keep pressing forward. They may hit you. They will call you lean. But I want you to know that our reward is with the Lord. Oh, ye colleges. Our mouth is open unto you. Our heart is enlarged. Ye are not screened in us, but ye are screened in your own bowels. Now, if you accept the Lord, these are the things God requires of you.